Well, if you have plans this weekend, I suggest Saturday a high temperatures will climb into the lower 90s. Heat indices around 104 to 105 tomorrow afternoon under mostly sunshine on Sunday. A little different, more clouds and a chance at a few isolated showers is going to work into the coastal bend and into South Texas. Right now, our Licks Cam showing North Beach beautiful shot with partly cloudy skies, a lot of blue fighting through on this Friday night. 90 degrees at the thermometer at the airport, 89 over at Flower Bluff at the Naval Air Station. Southeast winds at 22 miles an hour and the humidity is high. It's all courtesy of the southeast breeze off the Gulf of Mexico, which is just ushering in more and more humidity, which makes these temperatures right now lower 90s, upper 80s feel more like the triple digits out there. It's what your body is telling you. Your body can't sweat efficiently when there's so much humidity in the air. It actually struggles to cool down. So that's why it feels like 105 in Ingleside, 100 in Mathis, 108 in Beaver, 103 in Corpus Christi, and 106 both in Kingsville and over in Alice. Unfortunately, we don't have anything that cools down the radar. In fact, it's quiet. It's mostly clear. You really have to work in Southeast Texas, Houston, Louisiana, the southeastern United States to cash in on any rainfall. In fact, Louisiana is seeing a lot of downpours out there right now and some thunderstorms as well. Now for our forecast going forward for tonight, tomorrow morning, partly cloudy. Temperatures struggle to get into the 70s overnight. 79 degrees or 80 by an overnight low for tomorrow morning. Lower 80s elsewhere across the region. And then by tomorrow morning, mostly cloudy and then afternoon sunshine. By the evening hours, it'll be mostly clear. Very similar to today with uh, plenty of sunshine and plenty of heat as well. Now, thanks to this high pressure dome over Houston and much of the region, that's why we have plenty of sunshine, a lot of heat, a lot of humidity, winds off the Gulf of Mexico from the southeast. Now, if things change, that high pressure system moves off to the east over the eastern United States, and that leaves room for South Texas and some tropical moisture to come in from the south and east. So more and more moisture is going to build in the Corpus Christi, much of the region, and you'll see these orange shades that is indicating so much moisture in our atmosphere by Tuesday and Wednesday, and that's going to contribute to a chance at rain. So tomorrow, mostly sunny, a gorgeous day on tap, just hot and humid. On Sunday, though, some moisture is going to work in from the southeast, and this may produce a chance at a few isolated downpours on Sunday. So something to keep in mind if you have outdoor plans on Sunday. If you don't see rain, you'll see sunshine and cloud cover. By Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, a better chance at scattered showers in the region. So here's the coverage. Sunday isolated, Monday and Tuesday slightly better at scattered activity, a 30 to 50 percent chance at rain for South Texas. All right, to the infrared satellite in the tropics, uh, we have no hurricanes out there. That's always good news, especially in hurricane season. But there is a tropical wave south of the Cape Verde Islands that the Hurricane Center is monitoring. Not too impressive right now. It's fighting some dry air, some Saharan dust, and some wind shear out in the Atlantic, which is not conducive for hurricanes at this point in time. But the water is very warm as it travels westward and interacts with this really warm water at the surface. It may strengthen in the next week. We'll keep an eye on it for you here on 3 News. All right, seven day forecast upper 80s to lower 90s for the next 48 hours. You'll see by Monday and Tuesday an increased chance at rain 40%. At scattered showers in the region Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday overnight lows in the middle to upper 70s near 80 near 90 on Wednesday and 90 on Thursday. Mike, well, you look at that forecast and uh, there's no.